The Earth Hour Acoustic Concert was recently held and trust me, for a great cause. So let's hear from the promoters themselves now and watch a couple of the highlights, right? Check it out. Well, this one was, was really different, um, maybe even a little special um, due to the pandemic we had to go virtual for the first time. So in past years, we've, we've had the concert at Randy Williams and the reception has been great. We normally get about 5,000 patrons that come. Um, this year, had to do online, which was not really a problem, but it was different in terms of the logistics. Um, we got over 70,000 people who ended up watching it in total. So it, it was it was good because I felt like you know we went beyond 5,000 people who could spread the message even further, um, and it really is about climate climate change and awareness and and what we can do as Jamaicans to play our part. On her head top from she knows she's smart, you are the dancer. So don't watch the face, don't watch the chase, don't watch the time. Move and shine, work and grind, feel on your vibe, more than a wine. Dance on, baby. Big star, you make your family proud by far. I mean, globally, I think it's, it's the most important message right now um, that we need to kind of do something because there's a lot of talk. You know, so everybody's t talking about, you know, the things that we should be doing, but are we actually doing it? So the concert is really about kind of dumbing, dumbing it down so that you know that there are many options in terms of um, recycling or just usage and, and what you can do. And we, we use the artist to kind of help spread the message because, you know, music is powerful. And as Jamaicans, that's the way that we connect to everything. So having the artists talk about it and you know give you their views, um, it helps people to to pay attention basically. So the artists were, were selected based on some of them being upcoming, you know, some you may have heard of, and then we had some established acts. So we always try to have a balance on the show. Um, it also helps the new artists to, to have a platform because on, on our YouTube and on our Facebook, if you add all the total number of persons on it, it's over 3 million people. So they really get a good platform to kind of showcase themselves. So definitely we have started to plan already. Um, we haven't decided on which artists we want to perform. We're open. Everybody can just shoot an email or send a DM on Instagram um, if you want to be considered. We try to keep it to, you know, six or so artists um, because in the past we've had much more than that and the show just goes on until, you know, way in the AMs. So um, for next year, we're definitely going to keep it virtual. We're probably going to do a little bit um, different in terms of the set design. Eyes on the prize, come me up and keep the dream alive, yeah. Hold on to your dreams. Watch the 